All right, let's give Saturday's Daily Pulse on chess.com a shot. This one's called Maximizing the Tension. It's white to move. Give the video pause and try it yourself if you feel like it. All right, some tension here, some tension here. I see, I see a surprisingly few checks in this position, actually. I feel like this and this are the only ones. I guess this exists as well. And this could be interesting. Just in that it would bring the rook to here and sort of take away a lot of squares from the king. But it also gives the king... Actually, actually, this is taking away more squares right now, I guess. Uh, okay, so the king only has... The king has no squares. Okay, so the king is trapped right now. Gotcha. All right. Uh, how do I get my queen in there? Seems like the question. How am I going to get my queen involved? So I can attack the queen here. Is that Maybe that's interesting. Maybe, maybe I'm just looking at this wrong. It's not actually checks. This attacks a queen and a bishop, but I lose. I can. I lose my bishop, and even if I take the queen, I lose two. I, sorry, I lose my rook. Even if I take the queen, I lose two rooks, which isn't, which isn't even a good trade. Two rooks for the queen, and I don't think I get any like positional advantage there from that. As far as I can tell, I feel like this bishop is annoying. I like want to be able to slide my queen over here. I'm looking at, like, this check forces the bishop to take. That's, like, the most forcing move on the board, it seems like. And then, but this bishop, I feel like I want to slide my queen along this, the third rank. Check here, bishop takes. How do I get my queen in there? I just have to get my queen to this square somehow. But I need the bishop doing this, I feel like, at the same time. And this bishop's not, it's, like, definitely not going to give any checks. I don't know, I don't see an idea that, like, is really popping out to me is interesting. Oh, could it just be this for some reason? Like if this if this bishop moves, this is checkmate. Can I just get my queen in by like oh wait. No, but if it takes me here then it's still protecting the square. How do can I deflect this bishop, I guess is maybe the quite the question. Even if the bishop takes this rook, yeah, I don't I don't have anything there. If I go here, does that work? If the bishop takes this, this is mate. Does that work? I think this might work. Wait a second. If I go here, I think I'm threatening mate. Like, that gets my queen to, like, a really nice square. So if I go here, the bishop can't take this rook. If it takes my queen, this is checkmate. If it moves anywhere else on this diagonal, I can sacrifice the rook and then go here for checkmate. What if the bishop just stays there? I think I just have this, no matter what. So, like, another piece could do something. There's a lot to consider here. I, this is definitely the the move that looks the most interesting to me so far. Just trying to deflect this bishop. This bishop is definitely kind of the the bishop is the only thing guarding this square, and this is this is checkmate. So I think this just works. It's hard to calculate everything. There's a lot of stuff that could happen. It seems like it must at least win a bishop. Like a piece is going to have to sacrifice to get this this rook, right? The, you can't even protect this bishop. There isn't a single piece on the board that can protect this bishop. I'm going for it. I think this works. Wild. And then this is just checkmate, right? Oh, uh, the queen blocks, but then I just take it, yeah? Wow. Okay. Wow. Tough thing to spot. I, I just really wanted to get my queen involved. All right, let, let's, uh, let's run this back. Yeah, so I was staring at this for a while, trying to figure out what was going on. I, I, I noticed that the king is completely trapped. The king has nowhere to go. And I was thinking about this check. And this check is obviously protected by the bishop, um, but if I could somehow deflect the bishop, it would be checkmate. So a combination of me thinking of trying to get my queen involved and the fact that the bishop is a really important piece here finally led me to this move. Because um, the bishop can't take this rook. Both of my rooks are hanging right now, which looks pretty bad. But if I go here and the bishop moves, and if, if the bishop takes my queen, this is checkmate because the bishop isn't protecting the square anymore. And if the bishop takes my rook, then this is going to be checkmate. I can take the bishop, and my, my queen gets here, and that's checkmate. But there just aren't any good moves for the bishop to make, because the bishop has to stay protecting the square, and I've got all sorts of threats here. And now that my queen has arrived here, I can just give this check at any point and draw the bishop to here, and I just checkmate. So, and the queen can't guard the bishop. That would kind of be the important piece here if, if there was a way for the queen to guard the bishop. Yeah, and it, it almost seems like the bishop could move out of the way, but it's pinned. So the bishop can't move out of the way, so the queen can protect the bishop. So there's no way to protect the bishop, and the bishop has too big of a job to do, protecting this square and everything else. So now, if the queen, if the bishop takes my queen like it did in the puzzle, I just hop here, 
And then the queen can block, but my bishop's protecting that, and this is checkmate. That's a puzzle. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.